In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. At welcome mo muli dito sa Basilica. To prepare ourselves to offer this holy sacrifice to the Mass, let us pause for a while, acknowledge our sins and failures, and be sorry for them. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to all sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, look with compassion on our weakness and assure us your protection by stretching forth the right hand of your majesty. Through the Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, If you remove from your meads oppression, false accusation, and malicious speech, if you bestow your bread on the hungry and satisfy the afflicted, then light shall rise for you in the darkness, and the gloom shall become for you like midday. Then the Lord will guide you always, and give you plenty even on the parched land. He will renew your strength, and you shall be like a watered garden, like a spring whose water never fails. The ancient ruins shall be rebuilt for your sake, and the foundations from ages past you shall raise up. Repairer of the breach, they shall call you. Restorer of ruined homesteads. If you hold back your foot on the Sabbath from following your own pursuits on my holy day, if you call the Sabbath a delight and the Lord's holy day honorable, if you honor it by not following your ways, seeking your own interest or speaking with malice, then you shall delight in the Lord, and I will make your ride on the heights of the earth. I will nourish you with the heritage of Jacob, your father, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Teach me your way, O Lord, that I may walk in your truth. Teach me your way, O Lord, that I may walk in your truth. Incline your ear, O Lord, answer me, for I am afflicted and poor. Keep my life, for I am devoted to you. Save your servant who trusts in you. You are my God. Teach me your way, O Lord, that I may walk in your truth. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for to you I call all the day. Gladden the soul of your servant. For, for to you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. Teach me your way, O Lord, that I may walk in your truth. For you, O Lord, are good and forgiving, abounding in kindness to all who call upon you. Hearken, O Lord, to my prayer, and attend to the sound of my pleading. Teach me your way, O Lord, that I may walk in your truth. Please stand. I take no pleasure in the death of the wicked man, says the Lord, but rather in his conversion that he may live.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus saw a tax collector named Levi sitting at the customs post. He said to him, Follow me. And leaving everything behind, he got up and followed him. Then Levi gave a great banquet for him in his house, and a large crowd of tax collectors and others were at table with them. The Pharisees and their scribes complained to his disciples, saying, Why do you eat and drink with tax col collectors and sinners? Jesus said to them in reply, Those who are healthy do not need a physician, but the sick do. I have not come to call righteous to repentance, but sinners. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po muli sa ating lahat. Narinig po natin sa Ebanghelyo ngayon ang pagpili kay Levi na Jesus. Pula natin siguro ito na ang pagkakataon niyang magbagong buhay in case tinatanggap niya yung mga paratang ng kanyang kapahudyo na siya ay makasalanan kasi traidor siya, hudyo siya, tax collector uh, na nagsiservi sa Roman Emperor. Tanggap niya na yun, ganun, nasa profession. <laughs> Nagka-profession na na something kurap, eh ganun ka na rin, no? O malamang na ito ng pagkakataon na meron siyang nakita Jesus. Kaya nga nagpabangkete pa siya, no? May salusalo. Sapakat masaya siya. Nagtagpuan niya si Jesus sa buhay niya. Ngunit, tingnan ninyo po namanan, hindi pa natapos yung istorya, yung mga, yung mga Pharisees and Scribes. Hindi lamang si Levi ang biktima ng kanilang panunuri, maghusga sa isang tao. Kahit ang Panginoon man, kung naala niyo sa ibang parte ng Ebanghelyo, gumawa, pinagaling niya yung uh, demonya. Eh? Demonyo yan. Siyang harin demonyo. Pinalakan yung sari-sari ng pinagbibintang palatang. Eh, butin lang. Eh, of course, iwan natin kung may pasensya ang Panginoon, ang magagawa niya lang, eh, ituwid. At least, doon sa man nakikinig, na mali yun. Hindi ganun dapat. Kung tayo may napuna, hindi pagpaparatang. Sapagkat, Hanggang saan magtitimpi o haba ng pasyensya natin kapag tayo nangyari yun sa kanila. Isipin nyo lang, saan kayo nagaling itong ganitong ugali? No? Mahirap isipin, ngunit nakatanim sa bawat puso natin. Tayo lahat nakaranas ng iyong paratang. Alam nyo yung paratang, no? Sabi nga sa millennials ngayon, judgmental. Masyado kayong ginajudge yung isang tao. Hindi lamang sa unang tingin, hindi lamang sa iyong galaw, hindi lamang sa iyong salita. Napakarami, masabi nga natin, pagtitignan para lamang mapuna ka. Mabuti kung magandang sasabihin, pero mas nag-enjoy tayo sa either nakakatawa o nakakasakit. Kasi kaya karamihan kadalasan nakakasakit po, no? Naalala ko tali yung neighbors namin sa, sa Iloilo. Isang compound, no? Actually, sa compound, apat na pamilya ang nandoon. Kasi nandoon yung assessor house. Yung mga parents nung yung tatlong anak na may kanya-kanyang pamilya. Walang problema doon sa pamilya. <laughs> Nagkataon na, eh, hindi ko nang chinichismis, ganyan nangyayari ng ganito. Yung mga asa-asawa ng mga kapatid, ang siya nagsusul-sul sa kanilang mga asawa. Kung mag, gaya, for example, nakita nila, uy, 
may bagong TV. Bili rin tayo. O, bili, ginaya. Uy, may ba? <laughs> Nako, gayahan, no? Of course, no? sa una, siyempre rin man mahalata mo ba? Ano ba ito? May purpose ba nito? Okay lang kung, ay, sagana tayong lahat. No, rin, hindi. Kapag wala, lalo na yung, sabi ko nga, yung mga madaldal, kinikwento sa labas ng bakod, eh yun na, nakakasirian, nakakaawayan na. Hanggang isang araw, anong nangyari? May umuusok ng isang bahay. Doon sa apat na bahay, umuusok ng isa. Hindi man lang gumalaw yung tatlo. Bakit? Eh, galit siya siguro doon sa... Eh, kung hindi siya tumulong, nakalimutan nila dahil sa kanilang inggit. Eh, anong nangyari? Well... Yung apat na bahay po na sunog. Ito yun na. Napakasimpleng bagay na umuugat dahil sa ating mapanuring salita, sa mapanuring mga mata, at ang higit sa lahat, yung paninira natin. Kung minsan mahirap tanggap itong kasabihan, pinaganak tayong hubad, pantay-pantay tayo. Sa mata lang yun ng Diyos. Ngunit sa mata ng tao, habang tayo lumalaki, dahil sa mga impluensya, sa paghubog sa atin, doon tayo nang kakaiba-iba. Buti na lamang kung yung pag, pagtuturo sa atin ay sa wasto. No? Hindi tayo mahirapan sa paglaki natin, sa anumang edad natin. Ngunit kung mali, eh, manang, manang, sabi nga, sorry na lang tayo sa ban ng uli. Example po, sa mga bata, lagi ko itong nakikita. Anak, huwag kang makipaglaro dyan. Madudumi ang batang yan. Lagi nasa lansangan. Makakasakit ka. Eh kapag, alam nyo nung mga bata, kapag sinabi ng matanda, maniniwala sila sayaw sa gusto. Hindi iiwas na sila. Eh, kung ganun na ganun ang sinasabi natin sa bata habang sa paglaki nila, masaya ba sila? Bigyan naman natin ng freedom yung bata makapag-design na makipaglaro kahit kanino, no? Di ba gaya kagabi, nakita niyo na yung, yung kaso ng isang millennial, no? Tungkol sa thesis niya, kung papayagan siya ng magulang na lumabas kasama yung kanyang mga barkada, no? Hindi niya may pagtanggol yung sarili niya sapagkat close na close na yung minds ng magulang. Of course, natural sa magulang, no? May pandemic, Ganong ganito, 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 buhay teenager. And yet, yung mga pakikiramay, pagpapaliwanag, mga kaklase, eh, nangyari yung nakalabas rin sila. Nakapag, nakapagta sa mall. Eh, masaya. Naging masaya yung bata. Wala siyang kinimkim na tampo o hinanakit. Ini, naintindan yung magulang niya na nasa puder nila ang magpapa, uh, sabi nito, magpapakita sa kanya na para hindi mapahamak. Tama rin naman sila. At yung mga pagpapaliwanag ng mga classmates niya na madali namang unawaan. So, ganun lang po ang buhay natin sa araw-araw. Kaya nga ang sinasabi ko, ang challenge lagi sa atin, hanggang saan yung pagtitimpi natin. Sa loob-loob natin, tama tayo. Ngunit, hindi pa rin tayo hinihintuan. Yun ang mahirap. Hindi natin maintindihan kung bakit, no? Sa halip, instead na, sabi nga, instead na ma-impress tayo sa taong yun, instead na igalang natin, in, tumutubo yung galing natin, tumutubo yung paghihiganti. Natural lang yung sa tao, no? Yun nga nga, <laughs> tinatanong ko, saan galing ang mga ito? Of course, sabi nung isa namin pare, galing yan si demonyo. Yan ang madaling magkasala ang tao, yan ang madaling iiwas tayo, ilayo tayo sa Diyos. <laughs> Pag ang ugali natin, ay, hindi kasagwa-sagwa, no? <laughs> hindi kaya, sabi nga, yung nagiging judgmental, napakasamang bagay. At sapagat ang karapatan lang man ng tao habang nandito sa mundo, you can correct your brothers. Natural lang yun. Ngunit yung tingnan mo na yung correction na gagawin mo, ay para sa ikabubuti. Hindi para, hindi yung para ipagkalat, para siraan. Ganun na, <laughs> nisulit. 
mas enjoyable po yun. Kaya ngayon lang, siya mo natin ako, ito, mga teleseries, sa mga napapanood natin, siya nababasa natin, uh, sa mga kasama natin. Of course, lahat ng pungay yan, nandyan. No? Lahat ng yan nakaka-impulensya sa isang tao. Ngunit, sabi nga, gaya na ng gaya kalebe, tularan natin siya. Natagpuan niya ang tunay na, sabi nga, makakaiwas yan sa paratang kasi iniwan niya na yung trabaho niya. So, wala naman sasabi yung mga Jew na traidor ka pa. Hindi na ako tax collector. Magiging akong fisher, fisher of, uh, fisherman of men. Nakatagpuan niya kay Jesus. Although sa umpisa siguro hindi niya pa alam yung mga kailangan ni Jesus na, gaga, na para sa kany na kanyang gagawin Medyo mahirap-hirap rin yun, di ba? Yung mga amon sa atin na magpakabait ka, uh, habaan mo na gusto <laughs> yung pasyensya. Yun po ang mga panawagan ni Jesus. Huwag mong tapakan ang tao o yung do not put. Kung sa yung lalong-lalo na yung golden rule, maraming mga bagay na sana nagi tayong matino, na sana nagi tayong makatao, makadyos, kung gagawin natin, mahirap, no? Sapagat sabi ko nga, siguro kaya, mga tokso ito na ginagawa ni demonyo sa atin. Tinotorete yung utak natin para tayo mapalayo sa Diyos at sa mga gandang asal na supposed to be gagawin natin. Of course, you're not all perfect. Sabi nga, saan ka ba makakakita ng lugar, pamilya, association, kahit na saan, lagi po nangyayari yan, no? Merong nagsisiraan. Be, of course, merong pumupuri. Pero kung minsan, sa kaya nga sabi ko, huwag natin basahin yung motivation ng isang tao. Ang Diyos alam nakakabasa ng ating puso, no? Kaya hindi natin right na maging judgmental. Nakita mo lang, isang bagay, nako, ang sama na nang dating sa iyo. Ngunit sa taong yun, wala kang paki, no? Yun ang nararapat na dapat sa pang-araw-araw, eh maraming bagay na mag maganda ang kalalabasan. Kapag, sabi nga, yung hinihiling sa atin, sapagkat natagpuan na natin si Jesus, as much as possible, we try our best to conform our lives, lifestyle, sa gusto ng Diyos, hindi bagay maging perfect. Para sa ganun, meron namang magandang nangyayari sa buhay natin. Hindi naman forever and ever na lugmok tayo sa kasamaan. Walang pinanganak na masama. Isipin nyo yan. Lalong nagiging masama yung isang tao kapag hindi mo binigyan ng chance na magbago. Wala namang tao na humihiling na pagbabago kapag nakita niya na ang hirap sa buhay na <laughs> Kapag gano'n ang iyari sa buhay mo, magulo, stressful, higit sa lahat, yeah, pinapalibutan ka ng mga taong hindi naman sa amin natin mga mausyoso, kundi paparatang na hindi maganda. Napakahirap, no? Sasabihin, so, no man siya dahil ang doon lang kayo sa isla. Eh, kaya mo ba? Hindi naman gano'n ang solusyon. Actually, yung solusyon, napakasimple. Sundan mo ang gusto ng Kristo. Sundan, ha, uh, ipa, sa buhay mo ang gusto niya. Sabi nga, kaya nga itong Lenten season, pinapalala sa atin ang lahat ng ginagawa natin, hindi lamang para makita ng iba, para lang makita ng Diyos. Ang Diyos na nakakalam sa mga ginagawa na okay lang kung na-inspired yung iba sa yung ginagawa. Sapagat totoo naman, di ba naka-inspired ng mga bagang tao ang, ay ang ugali ay ganito, no? Lalo na po yung mga lola. <laughs> Alam nyo, walang ibang takbuhan ng mga kahit tumatanda ka na. Kung kapag may problema ang isang nanay, isang babae, takbuhan nila ang lola nila. Ewan ko, anong talent ng lola? Ganun yung mga lolo, no? Kaya masarap sa akin maging lolo at lola. Kaya yun, may darating din sa buhay natin, no? Ako lolo na ako, no? Pero sa pangaraw-araw, napasimple. Yun lang po ang hinihiling sa atin ng Diyos. Magpakabait ka, magpakabuti ka, sapagat daladalahin mo yon. Huwag ka na masyadong pwede ka makipaki sa iba, makialam sa iba, ngunit be sure 
conscious ka rin naman sa yung ginagawa. Baka lumampas ka na sa limit ay hindi na maganda. Kahit na medyo moderate lang yan, eh, depende pa rin. No? Kaya yung sabi nga, mga bagay na ito ay lagi nating sa buhay. Baka kapag gumising na sa umaga at may mga pagkakataon, mga situations na siguradong hahantong to sa atin, lalo na itong paninira, panglalait sa atin, eh, nakapo, eh, nakakapangilabot ko minsan, gusto mo nang, ano to, babatukan ko, gagantihan ko, eh, buti lang, kung mapigil ka sa iyong sarili, no? kung hindi ka mapigil, ganun po talaga ang kararanan. So, kunti hinahon lang. Eh, yung sabi nga na rinig ko minsan sa radyo, yung stress, napakadaling gamutin. Kapag huwag nating dagdagan ng dagdagan ng mga stresses na sitasyon, bawasan natin, no? Kapag nabawasan yun, eh, of course, masaya na, no? Maraming paraan kung gusto natin. Maraming dahilan kung ayaw natin, no? Yun lang ang simpleng guide sa, nat- sa ating buhay sa araw-araw. Magsitayo po tayo. My brothers and sisters, Christ came to all sinners, offering them salvation. With humility of spirit, aware of His call, let us bring our prayers to the Father. After His petition, we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Let the church may be seen as the healing home of the weak and the sinful. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, may peace prevail among the nations of the world through the mercy that they show to one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That unity may grow in our nation through the citizens' respect for one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That at work and in our families, we may not be fault finders. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may experience the saving power of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In silence, we offer our personal petitions and also include the intentions of this Mass. Father, this season of Lent, even as we seek righteousness, keep us from self-righteousness. As we look forward to the Savior for mercy, may we participate in His saving action by forgiving those who have sinned against us. We ask this through Christ, O Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed, blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. 
Through the divine work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept, we pray, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation and praise, and grant that, cleansed by its working, we may open minds well pleasing to you through Christ O Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift him up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly really right and just a duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty Eternal God, through Christ O Lord. For by your gracious gift each year, your faithful await the sacred Paschal feast with the joy of minds made pure, so that more eagerly intent of prayer and in the words of charity and participating in the mysteries by which they have been reborn, they may be led to the fullness of grace that you bestowed on your sons and daughters. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts of, and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. We are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. 
Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered together in, into the one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Socrates our Bishop, Fidelis assistant Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Joseph, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, and the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance to your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you all. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. This is Jesus, the Son of Mary, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to receive him. 
Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Please kneel for the prayer for the elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides the destinies of nations. Let us pray together, deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord, from coercion, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Let us pray together. Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord, that conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord, that the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord, that human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord, that the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord, that genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord, let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of all nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Abide graciously, O Lord, with all your people who have touched the sacred mysteries, that no dangers may bring affliction to those who trust in you, their protector, through Christ, O Lord. Amen. Please. Marami pong salamat sa pagdalo nyo, pakisamisa, at pagdalaw po sa manawag. Ingat lang po sa pag -uwi. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless us all, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass Ascended, go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. To God. For For the blessing of the sick. Ito po para lumang plaka na ako. 
Hindi lamang po tayong nandito sa simbahan ang umihiling na gumaling sa anumang karamdaman o umiwas sa anumang mga sakit. Idamay na rin po natin mula sa tahanan natin, makakilala natin, lalo na yung mga senior citizen na medyo nahihirapan, hindi lamang sa init, sa layo ng manawag. Nakakarating po yun sa kanila, maniwala po kayo. Salamat po. Let us pray. God Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward those, toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ, O Lord. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of the rosaries in other religious articles. Huwag na po kayong umalis sa yung pwesto. Ilabas nyo lang kung dala nyo yung mga religious articles. Yung mga magbibilas na lang po ang lalapit sa inyo mamaya. Let us pray. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the glory and honor of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, May these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles of devotion be blessed and be made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 